Hi there Elements users, welcome to my site and welcome to this video tutorial on changing hair color using a hue and saturation layer. Okay, so I've got this nice looking model with this kind of browny blondy hair and we want to change her hair color. You can see this is a bit of a challenge because she's got all these little fiddly pieces of hair sticking out in different places. That makes it a bit of a challenge. The hardest part of doing this is getting these things included in, in the hair color change and uh, you'll see that as we go along actually to do it for me to paint this in and to get it right it would take far longer than uh, I have available on YouTube to make this video so what I'm going to do is just get started with it show you some starting tricks and then I'm going to finish it and uh, then we'll discuss well we're not going to discuss I will prattle on some more Okay, so here we go. Hue and saturation layer, you come down here. Hue and saturation. This is elements 9, so you get this little adjustments panel right above it. You don't have a little dialogue floating around. You've got this. Now you want to colorize it. And as you see, you can change the hue, and the whole picture is changing. Everything is changing color. So what I've discovered in doing this a few times is that if you keep it light or dark, you can see your errors and what I do is I'm going through is I keep changing these to see how things are coming along so I'm going to start it right there and uh, work with that and then I'll change it to dark later to see how the uh, actual thing looks so what I want to do is go back and make sure my layer mask here is selected it's got this little bounding box around it and you hit control or command I to get rid of all the color now this is black now and I want to grip my brush and because I'm using my Wacom tablet I want to have this thing changing size with opacity with pressure so I'm gonna go up here and make sure it's set for size and up here I'm gonna set make sure my hardness is down to zero so I'll get a real soft edge on it maybe a bit higher because it was getting a bit fuzzy as I was trying it okay so there we go see I got a small line or a thick line so really what you do in this is you paint around the hair you just paint in the areas that you want to have the the new color and we've got this nice greeny yellow thing going on here which is not the end result you want um, and just keep going coming up to the edges and if you make a mistake if you go over the face a bit don't worry about it because you can fix that that's easy to fix so these areas will be difficult and they'll require a lot of work to clean up uh, that earring both earrings are gonna get colored in but they'll get uncolored later and down here okay so there's half of her hair done well you know the, the easy part half of the easy part is done and down here and around I like this green color. This is kind of cool. And around here. And if you find that it's difficult to paint something in, like right here, and you want to be very exact, this is what you do. You go to Image, Rotate, 90 degrees right. Now zoom in on that. And take your brush make it very small and you're gonna leave the hardness where it is and size where it is and just kinda coming around there paint around these little fiddly bits so these are the things that take all the time to do getting these little tiny hairs so now you see how you can do it and I don't have enough time to finish this while you watch so I'm going to stop it and finish it and then come back okay so just hang on okay I'm back okay you can see it's pretty much all done now now there's a few things that need fixing up you can see I've got uh, all these little stray hairs all painted in uh, which took a while this is gonna take you a while to do this to do it right okay now we have gotta fix some stuff up over here I wandered into her face and this thing needs re uh, some mending so to take away color that I've painted in I gotta change this to black get my brush tool 
and I'm going to change the hardness up to 100% because I want a nice crisp edge here. And there we go. And we can take that off. And one hopes one doesn't go too much outside the lines. Okay. Now I'm going to make the brush real small. And I'm going to paint this in too. I'm going to paint the, the greeny color off of there. And you can see now it's it's correct. Okay, back out too. Okay, so there's areas here that are not perfect, but you know the thing about it is that your eye will make it perfect because it kind of fills it in. So now we can change the hair color. We can change the lightness. We can change the hue. There's some wild ones here, right? And we can change the saturation. We can oversaturate it, we can undersaturate it, we can make it black. I mean, that's that's quite effective there. And now the hue makes no difference when you've got that desaturated completely. So now it's up to you where you go with this. But that's how you do it. And you can see here, this is how the, uh, the layer mask looks. If you do an Alt click on there, there, that's the layer mask. So you can see where I've done all this work. Uh, lighter opacity here, lighter opacity here. This was, all, this was a tough spot up there, right up in here. It was tough to get that because I, I had to keep going over and over and over to get it right. But it looks pretty good. So that's how you use the hue and saturation layer to make a hair color change. Okay? So I hope you found that interesting and useful. If you came in through YouTube, uh, you can find this uh, technique described on my site. And here's the URL up here someplace. And I do appreciate you watching this. And there will be another one that shows you how to use a color fill layer to do the same thing. So thanks for watching. I appreciate your time. Bye now.